Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to April 2021 and the Divine Masculine Reading. This is Crystal Tarot 1111. My name is Erica, and we're going to get started and look at the energies coming in for the Divine Masculine Collective. And uh, do check out the video for the Divine Feminine as well for additional messages. So let's start off with the Major Arcana theme for the month of April. What is the overall theme for April for the, oh wow, the lovers. Do you see how that just popped out? We're getting the lovers. So, Divine Masculine, this is where we have been making decisions. We are choosing love. We are choosing the highest form of love. And anything that does not align with this is going by the wayside. We are all being called to a greater purpose, a greater connection. So this can indicate needing to make a decision. This can indicate that this is top of mind for the Divine Masculine. Um, and if this isn't specific about love for you, for example, this is where there is a spiritual partnership of some kind that is going to be very rewarding and very fulfilling that could be on the horizon for you. So let's get a minor arcana as well to accompany this and then we'll pull some tarot and there will be an extended where we go more in depth into the divine masculine what lessons he's learning what are his shadow energies what he's thinking feeling about the divine feminine and the dynamic and a bunch more that link is in the description box below so let's get a minor arcana to accompany this lovers and see what what's what's going along with this and we have the Three of Cups. Okay, Three of Cups is about something to celebrate. This is about going out, socializing. Some of you may have love on your mind. Maybe you're wanting to ask somebody out. Maybe you're wanting to just kind of go out and have a little bit more fun than you have been. Um, I feel also that for some masculine energy, this, this is where... Other, other people's opinions and um, influences on your path, it's almost like it doesn't matter what other people outside influences think. So let's actually get some cards and see what is going on for the Divine Masculine for April 2021. I'm going to pull 16 cards. So we have here the, oh God, we're starting, the lovers is beginning this off, guys. I mean, okay. The lovers, the page of swords, the three of wands, and the seven of cups, followed by the hanged man, followed by the ace of swords, followed by the three of cups again. Okay. We've already got the same two cards on the table twice. And how many cards do we have here? Seven. Seven of these are the same. T I mean, this is crazy. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card, the Six of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. And what we have here is the Five of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Hierophant. All right, I'm seeing exactly what is going on here for the Divine Masculine. So in his physical world here, there's something that he's finally being enlightened about. He's seeing the truth. He feels like he knows what action he wants to take. He's going to take slow and steady action. He's not going to rush in, um, in terms of, you know, in terms of taking things too quickly in his life. But spiritually what's been going on is it's like he's been picking up the pieces that are remnants of whatever's left over from things from the past and looking towards a bright and positive future here. But the energies have been building. It's, I feel like the masculine here, it's like, it's now or never. There's this energy of it's now or never to communicate. And when we have all of this, this is like, this is throughout the month. This is beginning of the month. This is the end of the month. And what we have here is what's going on sort of physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually for the Divine Masculine. So in the second week here, we've got a lot of communication. 
And it is, it's kind of like this now or never. I have to speak my truth. There's something burning within the masculine to, to communicate. Even though um, the communication that begins may be a little bit, uh, it's not like the whole story. It's not everything, but it's something. There's some sort of movement forward here that's been building and building and building. Because for many of the masculines, there's this energy of having felt stuck and trapped a little bit tied up here with that hanged man energy. I feel like a lot of masculines have been tying up loose ends from any past cycles, any past relationships, any past situations. You know, certainly this could be for some of you, this could be if you're leaving a job where you have felt stuck and trapped and you couldn't really move on i feel like for some of you this is where you could even be bursting forward and being like you know what i'm done with this job i'm ready to go in a new direction and i'm ready to move on i'm ready to look towards a better future i'm ready to do something exciting fun something worth celebrating and i think this is a month where the masculine really takes action on what he knows that he wants because what we have here in this third week, we have the Three of Wands, the Three of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is where finally is, there is this opportunity to do, to go for ultimate happiness. It's finally time, right? We've been waiting for this chance. We finally get to go out. We finally get to go out and maybe socialize. Um, ask some somebody out, but we have here with the six of cups, it's like this, this nostalgia energy of this is what I've always wanted. And I'm, I'm, I may have walked away from it in the past, but now I'm very clear for some masculines. This is the regret of, of moving away from the feminine in the past and realizing that this is time. Like she's never left his mind. If you're watching this for love. And as you guys know, I always, always want you watching this for your inner masculine and feminine energies, um, even more than for a relationship, for example, but, um, and take it as it fits in terms of the messages. So I feel like what we've got here is just this, like, I guess I, I again, I'm saying now or never and interesting. It's the four of wands. There is manifestation, something to celebrate here. Let's add to this story here. Oh, there's not much more to add to this already, but I'm going to just add another couple of layers here. So what is this communication with this page of swords? The chariot. See, there is a desire to move things forward quickly, but it's going to start out small. There's fire is burning around this sword's energy, right? It's like the flames are just calling for this truth to be communicated. And it's interesting how much fire there is here. Um, and we are in Aries season, which is a fire sign. So I feel like it's interesting that I was called to use this tarot deck today. But this is what the masculine is, is beginning to communicate. I feel like... Um, there could be this, if there hasn't been any communication with the divine masculine, this is where he's suddenly going for it. He's kind of coming out from behind, behind the, <laughs> from behind the scenes and coming into the scene itself. You know, if he's kind of just been watching and waiting and observing from the outside this month, April, especially around the second week, it's like, there's this energy of, I gotta, I gotta go forward. I gotta go for it with the chariot and this ace of swords. In fact, let's get a card on this eight of wands. What's going on for him spiritually? The 10 of pentacles. See what we have here is this building up of desire to have it all in the physical world, right? To have that great career, finances, abundance, love, family, all of it. It's been building to this. I, the mass, where we are being called as a collective 
is if we are not happy with where things at are at in our lives, we are no longer making excuses. We are no longer sitting back and just waiting for things to change. We are moving things forward in our life because we know it's up to us to make it happen. So let's see why the three of wands is here. And we get the emperor taking charge. This is the masculine taking charge of his life. This is what I've, you know, I'm look, he's looking towards a brighter future. He's ready to, um, to do what he has to do in his life. Why is the six of cups here in the heart space? The queen of pentacles. So in the heart space here, we've got Queen of Pentacles and we've got Queen of Cups. And I do have to say there's a couple different messages coming through. So take whichever one fits. For some of this, this is saying for the masculine who may have stayed in a situation because of children, for example, a marriage of some kind or a committed relationship of some kind. This is where he is walking away from that situation, that commitment to go for um, the love that he feels for the divine feminine, which is the higher spiritual love. He's what he could be walking away from a very strong situation or a committed situation. And he's finally doing it. Why do we have the eight of cups here for what's going on for him spiritually? The two of wands. See, he's taking action on his decisions. He's made his choice. That's for those of you where some, the masculine is leaving a situation behind. But if the masculine is not, is already left a situation in the past, has kind of tied up those loose ends, he's now in his heart space ready to make this a tangible reality with the divine feminine. He knows he has to take action. He's made his choice. He's gotten the signs. He knows the direction he's going. And intuitively, I feel like the feminine knows this. Why is the queen of cups here? The nine of wands. So I think there's a, um, it's almost like he, that nine of wands energy can be this defensive energy, right? Not really being sure to open up because we do have the four of pentacles here. Do I fully open up? Do I fully open up my emotions? And in order to do this, I've got to let go of the past. I've got to let go to whatever I'm clinging on to here. From my past, that's keeping me from my present and my future. Why is the Seven of Cups here for the masculine? The Ace of Wands. See, he knows what he wants. He's going for it. He's made his choice. He had his options. And he's made his decision. He's very clear. And why does he have the four of pentacles on his mind? The world. See, for some, it's like I have to just fully let go of the past in order to have this gift that's being offered to me by the universe. Why is a hierophant here spiritually? The eight of swords. The fire is burning around this self-imposed prison. It's like... The universe is just saying, all right, if it's getting too hot in the kitchen, get yourself out. You know that you've put yourself in this trap and there's no more waiting around. There's no more waiting around. There's a bull here, which can be somewhat stubborn in between this guy and the fire. So it's like there's a... Um, The masculine this month is being pulled very strongly towards sacred union with the divine feminine. And while he's, you know, there's just, while he's, on, while he's being called to her, he's trying to maintain some level of stability while he's making these massive changes in his world. Why is the nine of wands here? The king of wands. See, he's, uh, it's so interesting that the queen of cups and the king of wands have the nine of wands in the middle. <clears throat> I think there's an element of both the masculine and the feminine 
holding things in a little bit, right? Kind of keeping things in check, keeping things a bit of a mystery. I do feel like there's a bit of cat and mouse here and not in a negative way. It's just more both being in their power and holding their ground, but being observant and seeing what the other one is going to do as well. This is really interesting. Let me get a card on this eight of swords and the hierophant, the six of pentacles, right? There's balance. There's balance being restored here. It's, it's finally the masculine has something to give something to give, wanting to put some effort into something. We're all being called to get to, to restore balance in our, in our lives. We have just had the, um, at the beginning of April on March 28th and 29th, we've had the full moon in Libra, which is about balance, restoring balance, restoring karmic balance. And so we've just kind of, the masculine is, is really going through this, um, not recalibration, but almost like there's been a shift and now he's kind of getting back to center in April here. So interesting month for the divine masculine. So let's get some guidance. I'm going to be in the extended going into a lot more detail and a lot more guidance. But for those of you not going on to the extended, let me leave you with some final guidance for the Divine Masculine for April 2021. What is the final guidance? We'll pull two cards. Work through your fears and show the world the real you. Yep, this is about having a new beginning that even though you might, it's like this is feel the fear and do it anyway, right? If you, if you wait for the moment where you don't feel the fear, you're going to be waiting forever. Anytime you make a change, anytime you claim your power, anytime you make a move, for, towards something that you really, really want. Obviously here we've got the lovers. It's going to be scary, but this, the fear is never just going to go away. You've just got to do it. And this is about revealing who you really are. Coming out as the fullness of who you are, being authentic in who you are. Don't be afraid to be authentic. Reveal who you are and then whatever's supposed to happen will, but keeping yourself hidden is not working right? Keeping yourself small, keeping yourself stuck, keeping yourself trapped is not working. And it's interesting that this lovers, they're wearing, um, hoods over their heads. And I feel like this month is calling for them to reveal really who they both are. All right, lovely friends, do check out the Divine Feminine reading as well for the month and stay tuned for an announcement I have coming for those of you interested in relationships and guidance for relationships. Do stay tuned. I'll be announcing something soon. So I'll see some of you over in the extended. Until next time. Bye.